Well guys, Pilgrim's Progress, or lack of, I'm still stuck on trying to get this short of thing to go. So uh, I'm just scoping up the output of the uh, local oscillator on the, uh, where it connects to the variable condenser. Uh, the impedance of the scope on, uh, probe unfortunately kills the signal. So, uh, so this is on medium wave. But as you can see, I have a, a local oscillator signal here. If I go to long wave, I have a signal. I have a local oscillator as well. And if I go to short wave, zilch, zippo. Um, so yes, uh, the mystery continues. So. Just so you know to what I've been up to, uh, I've had this whole uh, wave assembly out again. I uh, cleaned the uh, selectors, the uh, wafer switches, multiple times with contact cleaner and all sorts of stuff and uh, ohmed out carefully to make sure that all three poles worked. Uh, for all three sets of contacts in each wafer, um, cleaned everything up as much as I could, checked coil continuity and stuff, put it all back together, it's the same. <laughs> so I may, uh, I don't know, the only thing that I can think of now is that there is something wrong with the coil for the shortwave. And it's going to be hard to say because this is the coil here for the local oscillator and it's really just about 10 turns of wire around the core uh, and then I don't know it looks like to maybe half as many on the on the second coil so really hard to uh, to know what's going on here as I say when I measure from end to end of each coil it, it as I say, I get con I get uh, a very very low ohmic value, as you can imagine, just a couple of turns. Yeah. Um, so yeah, interesting. Or not, as the case may be. And so here is Dennis Carter's uh, YouTube page, and here is the uh, clip. Where he very kindly well, uh, it's been a while since I've been on here, so I thought it um, provided a whole ton of information uh, on things I could try on my uh, radio set to get the shortwave working. Um, and so for that I am deeply grateful. And uh, if you are not subscribed to this particular gentleman, then I recommend you do so right away. And uh, as Dennis commented, there does seem to be a bug because I am subscribed to Dennis's channel, but it has the uh, subscribe button activated again, which is weird. But there you go. So thanks a bunch, Dennis. Um, here's the fix. Uh, well, I'm delighted to say thanks to the excellent help by uh, in the comments in the clip from Dennis Carter. We have a breakthrough on getting the shortwave sorted out on this set finally. And it, what it actually turned out to be was a very, on the surface, minor thing, but obviously it turns out to be very significant. And it relates to this cap here, C32. Um, in the working set, um, if I can find it here, it's this little guy right here, which is right close. It's actually just almost directly connected to the valve pin. And then a wire goes from it off to the uh, wave band selector. So here you have the uh, cap uh, almost directly onto the valve and then a wire going off to the selector. What I did when I was rebuilding is since I had all this thing out, here is the wire that goes off to the cap which is connected to the valve pin. Because I had the whole thing out, I thought, well, it's easier, I'll just put the cap on here, and then I'll run the wire over, 
and it'll be a lot easier to solder a wire on than have to fit, mess around with trying to get a cap in a very tight space. So, the fact that that capacitor was, I don't know, two inches further away from the valve than, than it should have been, um, meant that oscillator wouldn't work. So I put it, I put the capacitor right on the valve and then ran the wire back, and we have a uh, we have shorter. This is a French language radio Taiwan. And I don't have a uh, long wire antenna in here, so it's, it's the reception is pretty crappy. But Eureka! Thank you, Dennis. Uh, I'm pretty pleased we finally made the breakthrough. So, uh, not a downside, <laughs> but it's but it's really easy. It looks like some grease or something got on the dial cord because the uh, the tuning mechanism barely moves now. I have to sort of move it manually. So I'm gonna <laughs> probably have to take this whole front plate off and uh, clean up this mechanism and degrease the cord or whatever. Um, which is a huge amount of work, but at least that's easy. I know what I'm doing, and it's not like I'm hunting a mystery. So, there we go, important update. Um, in the home stretch now, for sure, if I don't mess anything else up. So, um, yep, thanks again, Dennis. Where would I be without the help of the folks on the uh, in this community and on the forums?